I believe family business it should be uh, dividing the job with everyone and everyone have be responsible for his what they're doing and the most important to share everything together. Today I learned something very interesting. Well, I came down here to interview the owners of Al Safadi restaurant. It is a Lebanese family run business and very, very successful here in the UAE. And of course, I wanted to know what made them so successful and their journey. I start in this business on 76 when I was 13 year old and I start as a butcher with my father that he chose me to help him in his business. So when I come to work with him, he gave me the first job as a cleaner and helper for two years. And after when I learn, I choose my way. So I went to Saudi Arabia when I was 19 years old. And I chose to be a butcher in restaurant. And I like the idea. I learn, I understand everything. I was preparing the meat for the restaurant. And on uh, 80, 84, I went back to my country and I start my very small restaurant with my brother and we start the idea from this point. On uh, 94, we had our big restaurant in Lebanon and we become very, very famous. One of my friends advised me, asked me to come to Dubai. He's my partner, his name is Kamal Ghais. And we come together to visit the city on 99 uh, September. 99 and we got the idea I love the city and uh, I want to say very honestly Dubai changed my life and I start my first restaurant on Deira and uh, it was good uh, starting for us very very well from that restaurant we we increased the restaurant for uh, 1200 square meter we start with 500 square meter and after on 2003, we make the restaurant in Sheikh Zayed Road. And everything, it was very smooth and very good and the market very healthy. The base of Safadi, it's five things. Quality, quantity, service, clean and price. To be honest with your customer and to love your business. I'm a third generation in this business and I currently uh, handle the marketing in the company and so many other uh, responsibilities. I grew up in this business. It was my playground since I was a kid. So it was our hangout and we never wa we wanted to come see our dad at work. We used to come and, and chill here in the restaurant and spend most of our time here. So when I started working, I, I discovered and I realized that there's so many things that I learned from him when I was a kid and before I started working, that when I started actually working, I realized I have learned so many things from him. One of the most things I learned was his dedication and his passion, the amount of time he spent in the business, uh, 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 and his humbleness in his business. So my dad will, will you should, you, uh, I would always see him back when we were younger, back when the, when the company was smaller, you would always, always see him behind the counters, running, walking around, helping the guys out, checking if everything is, is right. So I think this is one of the most important things I learned from him. So to be all, to always be hands-on in this business, and I think this is what 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 led us to this success. Oh, it can be as a very success business and family, like both of them to mix the family and the business. I tell you how. I choose to not be one man show. I have my personality to make my kids and my managers responsible, and I give them their job. You have to let them learn. They do some, some mistake or something, but they have to learn to stand up. If you not fall down, you never learn how to stand up. You have to make a teamwork. This is one of our success, really. This is the base of our success. Nobody work alone in Safadi. So that's why I believe family business it should be uh, dividing the job with everyone and everyone have be responsible for his what they're doing. And the most important to share everything together. You know, so this is kind of the best success for family business. How interesting was that? Do you know another family that is running a successful business here in the UAE? Do let us know. It's a wrap. This is Anjana Kumar for Gulf News.